got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Ha ha. You're mad. Miss Wig, Miss Wig. I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Miss Wig, I got your wig. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Before we get into this video, everything I say is not motherfucking fact in this bitch, so don't take it as such. Girls can't take my motherfucking mouth, bitch. My mouth is real and it's raw and it's watchy, bitch. I'm gonna give the girls exactly what the fuck they asked for. The girls is going to know my wrath. Trust me. Hello, hello. Welcome back to another fucking oops he, he hold on welcome back to another recap i am the wiki anna karen huger's wig whatever yeah and we made it to the motherfucking reunion and i just caught myself for cussing and i just did it again okay hey let me work on it <laughs> but yes we made it to the reunion and that means no more corroded peaches next season i mean if they decide to bring back some of these sour ass peaches but and this isn't me wanting the girls to lose their checks and their jobs and stuff because i know they have families to support and so on but i'm just saying ooh, they need to do something i hear that they want to bring tamar i don't know if that's fake news but i need it to be real news because she's very much chaotic and i feel like she would shake the room <laughs> so yeah not that she would be the sole person to you know revive the real housewives of Atlanta, but i feel like it would be a nice injection into that bitch but what do i know anyways let's get into this reunion and the first part we see is marlo marlata critiquing some of the girls looks in yeah carol from cape coral florida said one of my favorite moments of the season was when marlo did her fashion corner at gucci brunch can marlo do a fashion corner for the ladies reunion looks Ooh, oh. <laughs> Before Marlata gives her critiques on their reunion looks, yeah, yeah, um, I want to hear what she got to say. But also, y'all love putting my Nyakura Mahana in my face. <laughs> but I will say she does look good at this reunion. I'll give it to her. She's living it up. She's serving a little nice, simple look. Um, yeah, she looks nice, but I don't want to see no more of Candy Coated Click, like I said in my last recap next season. I don't want to see that anymore. Um, so send Mankura Mahara Mahula out the way. And I, you know, it's nice and stuff that she was married to Neo, but I don't really care to hear any more about that because she was on Hollywood Exes too or something of the sort. And, you know, we already heard that story then, and I don't want to hear any more about Nasty Neo. Okay, so yeah. Um, so let's get back into Marlo's fashion critiques. <laughs> we got uh, Sunday's best over here with my yada. Come on now, Like Jeez, Sunday's best like your mama. Yet. Not Sunday's best like your mama, okay? I thought it looks nice, but I'm not there in person, so it could, you know, give a different illusion in person. But I am going to give Manya Hara Huka Hama Hana Hana her, um, not tens, but I'm going to give her like a 7.5 on her reunion looks but she looks good. Candy, I really love this look. I love it, accentuates her boobs. I really do love your look. Candy, I love the boobs. I just feel the feathers are a little too much. It looks too peacockish. Yes, Candy better come through with that nasty blunt bob, okay? I often like her in that look. It's very simple, it's not too much, and her outfit is not too much. Normally, I don't like the bedazzled Angel Brinks looks, cause you know, some. And hold on, cause I know some of y'all don't even know who that is, but she is a designer. She designs for the big name girls, um, but sometimes she gives Tachyana, and that's what some of these girls are giving me a little bit with the bedazzled stuff. But maybe it's not for me, okay? You know, I'm not a fashion king, so I'm just saying. But for my eyes, it's a little bit of a lot. My four eyes, yeah, my go <laughs> it's a little bit of a lot going on. Um, not with Candy's look, but we move on to Kenya's look, and it's a little bit of a lot for me. I don't dislike it because I feel like she looks good, but like, you know. It's giving me like Maleficent. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting Maleficent vibes from her, but it's just maybe because her face is pulled a little tight. And I think it's because of the wig. She don't need the wig, but I know she wants to, you know, have dramatic effect with the old Hollywood type of look and stuff. But um, it's giving me like Hoochie Mama old Hollywood Marilyn Monroe snatched up, pulled 
to the face. I don't, I don't really like it. But I love the boob. She looks amazing. I don't like the hair on her though at all. She's over there looking like Mrs. Roper from Three's Company. Mrs. Roper. Not us recycling reads from Kelly Dodd. Okay, Mrs. Roper and Andy over there. He, 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 he. And he be wearing them hard ass shoes with no socks. I know I'm not no fashion king, as I said earlier, but Andy, the way you be walking and looking disheveled and shit, hee, <laughs> you shouldn't be giggling not one bit, bitch, with them wrinkled ass suits. Okay, hee, <laughs> let me stop, but before he had my shit shut down, then I have to shut him down. I'm playing, totally kidding. <laughs> But, um, like I said, I like Marlo's look. It's not too much. Um, Kenya, and I'm trying to clarify the comments I made earlier about her looking like Maleficent. I'm just saying, you know how the girls be having their face pulled tight? I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying, you know, Maleficent be having her face snatched up in that cone horn thing with her demon horns and stuff like that. And they make her face look real snatched. So I'm saying, Kenya's face is giving me that. Like, the wig is like... You know how they be putting the tape and stuff like that under the wig and snatching your face and making it real tight and stuff. That's what it's giving me. So I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's also making her look old to me. Like I said earlier. You like did Mrs. not Roper. say Mrs. Roper. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Drew's look. I would have did a different shoot, but I love the legs. The green looks good on it. The hair looks amazing. You look good. Sheree always. Simple sheet, giving body. You can't go wrong over here. Yes, Drew, that nasty glam. It's eating. I like the glam. I like the wig. Um, y'all do love that blonde. Sometimes I think y'all need to let the blonde go. Everybody want to do blonde. Different variations of blonde, okay? Now, Beyonce then infiltrated your mind. I had to get all up in your mind. All you bitches on to be blonde. Let it go, okay? Let the blonde go. Let's try something else. Let's do purple. Can we do purple? <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Not no damn purple, but can we do... There are different colors in the rainbow besides blonde. And everybody's wearing the blonde out. Okay, sorry, just one of my blonde rent. But anyways, before I got distracted, yeah, Drew looks nice. And then Sheree, glam mama, grandma, mama, whatever she want to go by. Um, because you know she's a grandma. That was her storyline because she having she buy she baby or baby buy she or... Anyways, grandma looks good. She's serving body. The ponytail look good and so on. And then we move on to Sanya and she's giving body too, but in a different way with her baby bob. Yes, come on for the baby bob. Yes, come on, baby. Yes. She's giving me a nice um Versace looking esque look. I don't know what she what the designer is or what's going on, but yeah, it looks nice. And then Courtney, I told you bitches about this Angel Brinks aesthetic and I don't like it. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to keep it at because y'all know I love Cousin Courtney, but I don't like the Angel Brinks. Sanya, I love the simple, it's the loose sight bracelets. I love it. It, you know, shows the belly. It was a good reveal. Mm -hmm. Courtney, I'm living for this. Thank you, baby. This is the most extra, over the top, and I'm here for every bit of it. It's so amazing. Now, Marlo knows she lying because she know Courtney look a dumb mess, okay? Courtney don't look no damn mess, but I told y'all that Angel Brinks dress is blowing me right now. And I actually liked it in photos, but right now it's giving me a lot. I don't know. The glam is eating, the glam is slaying, the glam is doing what it needs to do, but the dress is a lot. To me, y'all hear that? To me. Not to y'all, but to me. Before y'all eat me up like a damn dinosaur be eating bitches up. Yeah, to me, to me, listen to that. Um, but we move on and we also see in the next part, the next scene, whatever you want to talk, the next segment, they're talking about um, Sheree and Martel and him not paying at the dinner and so on. <sighs> I guess get the boring shit out the way first, right? Okay, yeah. If I decide to throw something for my birthday, this is my birthday, I'm inviting some of my friends. Martel mm -hmm. was an invited guest. You would take care of it. Me? Sheree, the streets are saying Martel didn't pay for your birthday dinner. Mm -hmm. Well, I did hear that it was you guys that uh, had a conversation. Mm -mm. And Marlo and Sonia also thought it and they were laughing behind Sheree's back. Yeah, I was going like say, y'all have not been we, together that long for no. them to pay the bill that we had for that whole table. Well, I, I have not been problem. to dinner with anyone whose guy paid for me period by myself and of you guys typically yeah, when, uh, when it's like a birthday party people chip pay. in people Ladies, chip in let's push through oh, let's push, let's push. Yeah. Yeah. Push people push. Would chip, can chip in yeah. for yeah. the birthday girl if you especially if you didn't bring a gift 
I'm just saying. <laughs> well, the thing, so I'll be honest. I originally thought that Martel would pay it. Like you when did? I, yeah. I didn't think about like how new the relationship was. Mm -hmm. So Martel shouldn't have that responsibility. And I think about that whole gift thing you keep saying, Sheree. Yeah. You know we want to get out of here. Tonight. No, I gotta answer this. <laughs> um, no, because I just landed. <laughs> no, no, no. Because no. The thing is, Sheree, when we first started gonna have the dinner, I thought it was gonna be just me, you, and Ross. I didn't. So, I didn't but you. Remember. But when you put, when I you got there, figured it was. Hold on, hold on. But when you got there, figured it out. You still want to be. You want to be. You wanted your meal to be paid for when you got there and you didn't know. No, but sure. Hold on, no, no, no. Empty-handed? No, no. Serious. This is. I think empty-handed. So I, the, I literally found out about your red card the day before, right? So to me, yeah, no, I'm what not mean? gonna run. You're not five years old. I'm not gonna run to the store to go buy you, you a gift. And, and you are wrong. Why and you pay for you, you and your never, guy, you, you and never, your husband's dinner? I paid for y'all to eat at Ash's birthday party. I didn't ask y'all a chip. You got any parties or events I've had? You see my that's, events, honey. Do, you think they're cheap? No, but I don't do you, think okay, cheap. okay, so that's we're not talking about an event. We're talking about a dinner. That's you what I'm saying. Why would you expect me because for my birthday to I pay for you and your husband? Friends and their Why would husbands, you expect me? Pay. Why would they you pay? Okay. But I'm not saying he had well, to pay. I'm not saying he had to pay. I was happy to pay. You should not expect me to pay for anything on my birthday. I didn't expect you to pay. I thought your man would pay for you. I didn't think. Yeah, he did pay for me. That's what. But why would he pay for you and your husband? But what I'm saying is about the no, no, no. Ross shouldn't even want. A man paying for him and his wife. No, no. no. okay, y'all stop. Ross should not, should not get the this bill. Ross should not have wanted a man to pay for to him and his wife. The bill, so he was no pay for y'all. You, what do you mean? I didn't to pay for me. And but I don't need him to pay for me either. What I'm Ross, saying is that people are acting like Candy and Marlo is misunderstood. That is your husband. Your husband, husband. Your husband, your husband, husband ain't shouldn't ain't even want no, another no, man no. paying for you. Y'all not listening to you. Who said my That's husband saying, did? I'm gonna, you I'm just said you wanted Martell to pay for you. Can we breathe in? I'm not Ross. So I'm not Ross. You should not. But with your husband to me. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm sitting next to you. I have not wanted another man to pay for you. I have dinners where the man has to everybody. But your husband sitting next to you. I have two when it's all girls. I have two. Happens, it's not I have two when it's all girls. That's all I'm saying. When it's all girls, it's not I have two. But why would you want a man to pay I for you and I your husband? I didn't say I wanted to. I'm just saying no. that it but happened you in the past. You expected them to. It wasn't Listen, my expectation. Listen, I went to birthday parties too. It wasn't my expectation. Man paid, but it was all so women. Have, no, but it was all you women. You've never been to a couple's date where a man took care of dinner. No. She wasn't playing. Well, no, I know. That's how I thought you were going to finish the sentence. If I invite people for my birthday, then I'm going to. Okay. Well, you're not going to pay for your birthday dinner. He should know that. Pay for my birthday. I know, I know. Well, you, you, you have a very interesting relationship with bills. Ooh, Andy been practicing that one in the mirror. I don't know what queen gave him that read, but yes, go off. Okay with the rehearse read. Copy and paste read. Couldn't even look Sheree in the face while spitting out the read. I don't know if that's really professional for a boss to really, you know, eat up his employee like that and say something about her not paying her bills or an interesting relationship with the bills. I know it's like slight shade, but girl, Messiana, what if she says something about you and your Sniffiana habit? He <sighs> sniffed the house down, okay? <laughs> what if she says something about that? But you know, not too much. I guess she can't eat up the boss, you know, like I said, too much as she needs a check, but where's your dignity? Cause I wouldn't let nobody be playing me about no damn bills if they didn't have no proof about it. So what's going on? Because I'm going to start bringing up allegations about you, like I just said. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Andy. Thanks, man. Okay, have a good day. Andy, what you got going on? You looking real scary. I know Halloween is coming up, but you giving me ghoul or something of the sort. Walking hunched like that to the side with that sideways joker ass smile. Looking Okay, I'm not gonna do too much on you for you really have my shit shut down, but you're scaring me. It's giving me monster, and I don't like it. I don't like no monster, okay, period. But, um, yeah, keep it cute with your Ray. Don't try my auntie. Don't try my grandma too much in this bitch about her bills. She got them paid. You ain't paying them. I guess you are paying them, technically. You writing the checks. Or are you in this bitch? What's going on? I don't know, but you shouldn't be shading your employee like that. Unless you want them to shade you about your habits. Allegedly, cause you're not gonna fucking sue me. Cause I know how you bitches like to cut the check, and I'm not gonna be cutting no checks, okay? Hell to the fucking no. No one's ever taken me to court and said that I have not paid their bill, honey. Or try to sue me for stealing an idea. Ooh, catch it, catch it, catch it. My granny said, catch it. She ain't been in no courts, bitch. She ain't been in no jail, bitch. Okay, period. She said her bills was paid. Bring the receipts in this hoe, okay? 
year. Are you talking about Drew's bill? Oh, Lady Gang. Because I ain't paying Now, let's one. not talk no, about Andy Drew not paying the guy with the yeah. fashions, and that's why them fashions ain't on it. that website. I love it, honey. That's, oh, I love it. Oh. Let's talk about it. No, no fashions was were not honey. on that he site. Was, this is from uh, She's Rwanda, with me. who has no so skin in the clear. game. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Yeah, Sheree, hold on. I see you, girl. Wait a minute. Let's have a moment of silence because I want to see if y'all notice something. We're going to start the silence now. Y'all silent? Okay, I'm not because I'm talking. Okay, we're going to start it now. Yeah, so what I noticed, and hopefully y'all noticed too, Sheree is really awoken in this bitch. I ain't never seen her shaking the table like this at the reunion. She pulling out receipts and stuff. But, you know, uh, this is where she fails because I did say somebody proved that she's not paying bills. Okay, so allegedly, you know, the receipts she pulled out, it's nice that she tried to gag them. And while she probably did gag them at the reunion, the fact of the matter is after the reunion and after these clips came out, the designer said that she was not paid by Sheree. She was paid by the assistant and that the assistant only paid her because Sheree wasn't going to pay her and she felt bad. And she said that Sheree didn't have no money. This is what the assistant told the designer. So apparently Sheree really don't got no money and she really can't pay is what the designer is saying online now. So she's defuncting what you're saying at the reunion. So uh, while I thought you was eating it up, you ain't really eating shit up, allegedly. So Rowan was helping. I pay it real wine, real wine oh, paid and, him. and she's saying back then, back she is then, saying, don't uh, believe everything you read on the internet. Those bashes on your runway, half of them are not on your site. So what? 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 Bother with she by Sheree? Andy, you've been throwing a lot of shade at she by Sheree in your speak on it. I thought you she were in support have. of Sheree's brand. It doesn't That's feel like it. When they kept flashing back to Sheree and all the years of not being able to pull She by Sheree together. So y'all do realize She by Sheree is not out yet. You know, it's not out yet. Like, she's, it's She by Sheree is not Sheree yet. It's not she by Sheree. -ing. What does Sheree have? I want to hear this. Sheree's timeline, and she did six, seven years, and mm -hmm. she accomplished the house. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> okay. I didn't say that. Hoodie out that motherfucker. We be yeah. at, at minimum a t-shirt, a yoga pad at minimum. What? Why can I not get the? Yoga you got the address. You already Send us some showed pads. it on the show. Like I, you should have already had those on. It should be out right now. Dude, we taped the reunion before the finale had aired, so we didn't see what wound up happening with the Shiba Shire website and merchandise and everything. What was your reaction to all of that, Candy? Okay, I, you know, I hate to give my answer because people are gonna say it's shade, but it's not shade. I love Sheree and I really, really wanted the brand to be what it needed to be, but I was disappointed. Do I feel like Sheree missed the mark on making it a Gucci event instead of a Shiba Sheree? Well, here's the thing. Could it have been a Shiba Sheree theme? Yes. I'm a business owner too, right? So I understand just because I have restaurants don't mean I can't go eat at other restaurants. <laughs> you know what I mean? So just because she has the clothing brand doesn't mean she can't do something with a different clothing brand. You get what I'm saying? Now, would she have done better to make the most of the opportunity to continue to promote her brand? Yeah, but she never really wears her brand that often. Not in group scenes, anyway. I had to bring this up. This is so funny. We have this Housewives group chat. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, when Sheree's website was not working, um, when she posted it on the finale episode, mm -hmm. you know, the girls was in the group chat um, and she was explaining to us that the site crashed or something <laughs> like that. And you made the comment in the group chat. He was like, oh yeah, Sheree, um, you know I know about those websites. <laughs> messed up. Is that not true though? <laughs> that was shade. I died, okay? When I get people who are sending me things about you talking about me every week on your show, and I get it, because if you want, I'm, I'm good clickbait. I get it. <laughs> but I was, you think I, I was you really, well, you, you use me every week, honey. I love Sheree. 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 Go mop them nasty ass floors in your restaurant. Go mop them nasty ass floors in your restaurant. That's what you worry about. Nasty ass what? Floors. <gasps> Not no nasty floor. What's go? <laughs> What's going? <laughs>
<laughs> What's going on at the OLD in this bitch or candy strapping eateries or whatever's going on with the OLD or whatever. Whatever. What's going on? The floor is nasty in this bitch. Sheree, what's happening? Can somebody who's eating there confirm to me if the floors are nasty? I'm curious. I just want to see. Send me a picture of a crumb. I'm playing. I'm playing. But you know, you saying this to Candy like she's in there mopping that bitch. Whatever you got going on. Let me stand up, honey. Oh. So I can I can show you the body and the face. But you can never. Stand never, up. honey. <laughs> never. Yeah, Sheree, you better show that body up. Okay, word, grandma. <laughs> And I'm not shading her by calling her grandma. I'm just saying, giving her her flowers. Because, you know, again, that was her storyline. Like I said earlier, she's a glamour. But anyways, yes, work. And I'm saying this, not that Candy's body isn't giving. I'm just saying, like, she really is doing the most standing up and serving extra to save this peach. And I'm here for it. She said, no more corroded for me, bitch. <laughs> she really was practicing her reads. I told her, or not her personally, but in my recaps, I said she needed to get this shit together. And I see a little bit of stutters, but she got it. Always talk about butts, not sh shots, not whatever. Yeah. Hold on. What's going on now? Because <laughs> I think Sheree is really gagging Candiana. Always talk about butts, not sh shots, not whatever. Yeah. I think more so because she's never seen Sheree this awoken and neither have I. I think, you know, like I said earlier, these peaches really got shook up and they saw that they really need to save them. So here we are and Sheree is shaking the tables in this bitch. <laughs> okay, so much you got candy stuttering in this bitch, trading spirits with Sheree. Now what's going on? Tighten okay. up your work. No, Don't you all go to the same person? I mean, no, 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 no. Let's, let's clear this up. Why are you saying big face, okay. little face? What is that? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh. I came to your show. And the big swollen. face that she oh. needed to be worried about is getting her some paper up. Like, I don't know, somewhere. Okay. Hey, Candy. Hey, that read was a fail. Um, while true, she does probably need to get her coins up compared to you. Um, <laughs> I feel like you, it's giving to me that she really got you a little bit rattled. And I'm shocked that Sheree is shaking the tables in this bitch. Even though it's giving delusions, very much so, I'm here for it. <laughs> what you handed me is the woman who did your fashion show saying you paid all your bills. The ones that came down that runway, most of them did not come to that website. Why are you so worried? You came at me focus first and on, I'm letting you know. Focus on your businesses. I do. Obviously you don't. You keep having shootings. Okay, I got okay, you keep going. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. No laugh. Stop. Um, serious matter. For real, though. She can't control the shootings, but I'm just like, like, wow. Whoa, whoa, you keep, whoa, the dirty floors, the shootings. Whoa, whoa. Um, whoa. Like I said, Candy can't control that. She not the one shooting, but like Sheree, Sheree, Sheree is gagging. <laughs> That's it. That's it. So we about to we rejiggered the menu some. Um, we added a couple of things, some new appetizers, a couple of things or whatever. So we're gonna taste some of this food. It better be good. They better not embarrass me. What? What you need, class? We're not gonna talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> Search is on for a suspect accused of shooting a fellow co-worker at a restaurant, and that suspect is also an employee. This all happened at Blaze Seafood on Cascade Road that is in South Fulton. Real Housewives of Atlanta stars Candy Burris and her husband Todd Tucker own the restaurant. Police tell 11 Alive this all started out as an argument between those co-workers. Eventually, police say one pulled out a gun and fired at the other one, shooting the victim in the arm. The suspect took off before police got there. How you been feeling, though? You good? Yeah, bye. My name's Brene Kenzie. And? And Yali Gonzalez. So what did, what did you guys see? What did you hear? We were waiting outside. Uh, we were waiting outside at the bench. And I saw two girls run out. Uh, they heard them scream, and I saw, I heard two pops. Yeah. And I ran. Okay, on a real note, I know I was laughing earlier, but um, gun violence is not anything to be laughed at. No hee hee ha ha 
as I lost a brother to gun violence. So I understand the seriousness in it. Um, but I'm just laughing at just how outrageous Sheree is. And also, again, what do y'all want? Sh what is Candy to do? She's not the one shooting. And y'all want her now to mop the floors too. They dirty. She can't mop them. I guess she could mop them. I don't know. <laughs> she could put bulletproof, like, windows up or something like that and then have guards up or i don't know what you want her to do help her <laughs> i don't know and then you know what you ain't your head print out what you want <laughs> not pants <laughs> not pants <pencils. laughs> print out oh, she look at this. About the she news okay. is this a newspaper <laughs> that you printed she news I told y'all i am here for Sheree and her delusions okay she got she baby she by Sheree she news in this bitch okay work okay worldwide she said i'm gonna give you a vogue issue in this bitch work okay who is helping you this reunion somebody really got you together girl i'll be here for all of this look on the back y'all 979 and candy burns is charging 75 dollars a tag let me have my wait look, Andy. sit down sit all down is a clothing store our prices are not 999 $75. Not y'all arguing over selling Sheen, Alibaba, and what else is it? AliExpress. Is Alibaba the same as AliExpress? I don't know. Let me know. I don't want to Google and then have my shit shut down for going on the Baba. So, Candy or Sheree, let me know. <laughs> or one of y'all who go in there, I'm not judging. Just let me know because I want to know. I'm curious. But anyways, um, I feel like Sheree should be taking advice from Candy's business tag. Considering it has been open for like 14 years, she said. And, you know, you're just now getting She Buy Sheen off the ground. And she did try to help you. And you're trying to do She Buy She Baby. And uh, Granny, she's trying to help you. And she was trying to help you. And now you are acting unhinged. But I'm here for it, like I said. So <laughs> go off. But hold on, because I just had another thought. I do realize I feel like Sheree's getting her clap back because all of the videos that Candy did um, upon Sheree's business, she's like, okay, now I'm going to get you back. Candy, you've been throwing a lot of shade at She by Sheree and your speak on it. I thought you, you were in have. support of Sheree's brand. It doesn't feel <laughs> like thought. it. When they kept flashing back to Sheree and all the years of not being able to pull She by Sheree together. So y'all do realize She by Sheree is not out yet. You know, it's not out yet. Like, she's, She by Sheree is not Shereeing yet. It's not Sheeing by Shereeing. What does Sheree have? I want to hear this. Sheree's timeline is she did six, seven years and mm -hmm. she accomplished the house. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> okay. I didn't take that away. I'm not taking that away. Is that what we going with? In Atlanta. On the bus line. On the bus line. In Atlanta. It's late. It is. It's late. It's amazing. It is late. It's now, awesome. only if we can get a Shiba Sheree hoodie out that motherfucker, we be. Yeah. At, at minimum, a t shirt. A yoga pad at minimum. What? Why can I not get the yoga You got the address. You already showed it on the show. Like, I, you should have already had those on the It should be out right now. We taped the reunion before the finale had aired, so we didn't see what wound up happening with the She by Sheree website and merchandise and everything. What was your reaction to all of that, Candy? Okay, I, you know, I hate to give my answer because people are going to say it's shade, but it's not shade. I love Sheree, and I really, really <laughs> wanted the brand to be what it needed to be, but I was disappointed. Do I feel like Sheree missed the mark on making it a Gucci event instead of a She by Sheree? Well, here's the thing. Could it have been a She by Sheree theme? Yes. I'm a business owner too, right? So I understand just because I have restaurants don't mean I can't go eat at other restaurants. <laughs> you know what I mean? So just because she has the clothing brand doesn't mean she can't do something with a different clothing brand. You get what I'm saying? Now, would she have done better to make the most of the opportunity to continue to promote her brand? Yeah, but she never really wears her brand that often. In, not in group scenes, anyway. I had to bring this up. This is so funny. We have this Housewives group chat. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, when Sheree's website was not working, um, when she posted it on the finale episode, mm -hmm. you know, the girls was in the group chat um, and she was explaining to us that the site crashed or something <laughs> like that. And you made the comment in the group chat. He was like, oh yeah, Sheree, um, you know I know about those websites. <laughs> 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 
Is that <laughs> not true though? That was what? fake. I died, okay? When I get people who are sending me things about you talking about me every week on your show, and I get it, because if you want, I'm, I'm good clickbait. I get it. <laughs> but I was, you think I, I was really, well, oh. you, you use me every week, honey. I love Sheree. 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 Because Sheree doesn't do a lot of interviews, so I guess this is her time to really punch candy in the stomach. Um, even though it's giving delusions. I just want to point out uh, that the first six pages of the She News are devoted to um, taking down Candy's restaurants. And you seem to have put together any bad reviews and any um, articles that are unfavorable. Not Kenya over there laughing in Candy's face. <laughs> this shit is funny. And I want a copy of this magazine because it's gagging me. I don't know why y'all are blurring things out. I would like to see what's blurred out. <laughs> um, can somebody email me a copy? And now... Last two pages are devoted to Tags, your store of 14 years. 14 years. Which is still going strong, uh, has taken years. some fashions from Sheen no, no, no. and AliExpress. And he just had to say that AliExpress and that Alibaba. He had to throw the Baba in there. Um, but enough of it. I don't want to hear any more about the Baba. Like I said, somebody give me the information I need on the Baba. And then, yeah. So let's move on. And Andy asked Kenya about, you know, Mark and whatnot, whatever. Please tell me your divorce is final. <laughs> oh yes her glam looks really nice i did say before she did look like maleficent you know the angle i saw her face was looking real tight and y'all are talking about sheree's face i'm just saying what was going on with kenya's but i did say it was the wig you know snatching it up and making it tight like maleficent but from this angle the glam looks really nice i like it and the color of the wig looks nice but it's giving me like one of the founding fathers i don't like it so much real powdered wig era and i don't it's stiffiana but maybe that's the like vibe you're going for i don't know the inspiration so that could be it george washington type tees right yeah but i'm here for it. okay hold on i know stiff is very much what she could be going for but i just y'all okay <laughs> i'm gonna hush my mouth um kenya is a very much beautiful woman i just this wig sometimes when she just does the wigs that they just are a miss like she just doesn't need to do wigs i know she does them for protective reasons but she never finds a good one i feel like when she has the most beautiful hair is what i'm saying so i know again it's for protective reasons but uh somebody help her candy help her he recently filed contempt charges against me uh, what's the allegation you know he was trying to say i was preventing him from seeing his child there was another issue that he cited where marlo was kicking at the door uh, and then we see kenya try to okay i know kenya don't like marlo but then you're trying to serve her with a blank piece of paper okay girl get it together <laughs> he it's not filled out Then they printed the wrong one. Okay. I'll get another. You oh, will be so We need to fill out her names. <laughs> I'm not accepting this. I'm not accepting this as evidence. Um, and then also I'm thinking to myself, I don't think anybody knew that Brooklyn was in the room. Or like, I know Marlo is unhinged, but I don't, <laughs> I love her down. But I don't think she knew your child was in the room. And also Sheree was banging on the door. I feel like Senya knocked on the door too. They all were having fun on the door. Marlo took it a little bit to the extreme. Maybe not a little bit, but too much. But she didn't know the damn child was in the room, girl. Um, so, whatever. She might be asleep. Hey, I can call and get a key to the room. You can talk about why you okay. were texting and calling Mark two years ago. Okay, and now you're You lying. can talk about I that. Know. And now During you're discovery lying. of my All divorce right. case, I was able to subpoena crazy. his about phone a, records. No, and two uh, years ago, her phone never appears in Mark's okay. phone records. I'm not saying Kenya's a liar, but can I see a receipt? <laughs> if you got it, I want to see a receipt. I know it may be a legal issue, but... <laughs> 
um we're talking about it so let's see a receipt otherwise hush <laughs> sorry george washington what were the texts can't say? see what the texts say i can only like I said earlier, I don't know why Kenya would make this up on Marlo. Like she has no reason to make this up. But also you just served her with a blank piece of paper. And I feel like you would have your shit together. You know what you're doing. Um, even though your assistant could have gave you something blank. I feel like you, I don't know, just knowing you, you would have your shit together. And then also maybe, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just don't feel like. Can you have a receipt for Marlo calling or texting? Can you show a screenshot of Mark saying that Marlo was doing this or can you show it? It may be a legal thing, so maybe I'm just being a dumbass bitch and that's why she can't show anything, but I like I want to see a receipt. Like no statements with no receipts. How about that? But also on a real note, Mark needs to leave her alone. Like stop trying to take this girl's baby away from her or whatever you're trying to do that's holding up this divorce. Y'all need to work it out or Mark just needs to stop terrorizing her and move the fuck on or I don't know what's going on, child. They're confusing me and it's been a long time since they've been trying to get divorced, so uh, power to y'all. I don't know anything about it because I've never been married. So, um, if anybody would like to give me a ring, I am, what size am I on my finger? Girl, I don't know, but I'll take any diamond. Um, yeah. Put it on a make I wanna marry me, yeah. <laughs> okay, Rashida, shout out to you. Even though I said I don't want no candy-coated click in this bitch. You did do one thing with that song. Candy, did it upset you when you watched Drew claim that you made up the LaToya kissing story to promote your movie? Of course. Because we had such a great time just taking in the architecture and the people. So. We even had like a slumber party. But out of nowhere, Candy made mention of like. It was like, yeah, because you, you kissed LaToya. And I didn't think that that was going to turn into an all out argument mm -hmm. between you and I, mm -hmm. but it did. I felt like Candy was so vested in proving that Drew, she called mm -hmm. Shamia, she started calling oh, God. Cynthia, God. She, she called, called Cynthia, she, she called everybody. everybody. I don't even understand why it's such a big deal. I mean, we're talking about this movie that I'm gonna be, you know, playing mm -hmm. a, a woman that has a relationship with a woman. Now we're talking about it, it just kind of felt. A little force. What is this about? Like, why, why? What's the purpose of it? She want me to do this movie, so I think she's trying to warm me up to oh, the idea of maybe. Of kissing a girl. Right. That's oh. what I said. I was like, oh. oh we is... were extremely close, but I am not attracted to Drew. The f is wrong with you? I could have sworn y'all kissed, and maybe it wasn't. Maybe I. I maybe it was so much going on in that room. <laughs> I was like, stop doing that. But it's just like you're not gonna call me no liar. She's saying she's standing her truth, then you know you are a liar. Like you just go lie on everybody. The way it ended last night, it seems like when you come back together, the energy's not gonna be the same. If we don't end up working together, I'll be okay. I did not make the video. I did not send it to Latoya. I wasn't even there when you guys really start going back and forth. So I just was like, this is crazy to me. And I was, I was like, now nah, she done dropped this bag and left. Now I can't even talk about it with you. But yeah. Yeah, I'm clear. I mean, we talked about it already, you know, but that was where it came from. That was my own thought. I believe her when she says that, you know, it, this wasn't to promote or anything like that. No. Yeah, I don't care. If that's how she feel, I'm, I'm cool. We have other friends who are actresses. So it's Kenya, you don't get the part. <laughs> <laughs> but child, I'm like, all oh, this mess going on. I hope y'all ain't gonna become up being messy as hell at the event tomorrow. We started Really extremely toxic. You know, our relationship yep. was bipolar, you know? Or bi. Either way, it works. We squashed our beef, and then you guys are in Portugal, and Marlo sends me all these videos. Obviously something I had to apologize because the way that it came across, it did, you know, come across like, well, why are you bringing my name up? But in the full context, I was asked a question, right? About LaToya, so you I was saying. answering. I don't want to get too deep. Well, I'm just saying I was asked the question. Like, <laughs> we why went from making, too deep. We went from We're making drinks today. to me being asked the question, correct, about LaToya. Yeah, no, I but I don't even think it was just about the question. It was just the things that you were saying about LaToya that you were just like, I mean, you was just like, I mean, she's disgusting. Why would I want to kiss her? No, I, I said she smoked. 
black and mild and I'm allergic. And so that would have been nasty for me. That's what I was saying. Okay. And that's what happened. All right. So it wasn't, and for her, we laugh about it now. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? That was between she and I, that's our relationship. She knows what happened. We touch on, there was a kiss that happened between you and Drew. Yeah, that she denied. She straight denied it. We had a moment, okay, <laughs> at the private bachelorette party that we thought wasn't being filmed at all, but I guess people True. are speaking on it. I could have sworn y'all kissed. And maybe it wasn't. Maybe I, I maybe it was so much going on in that room. I went to her room and I barfed in her bathroom yeah, and she you held. Did. You saw the kiss. I did. Okay. I did. I did. And um, she's completely denying that she kissed me. It's like, why can't you kiss a girl? What's the problem with that? I don't know. I was thinking maybe she just doesn't remember the kiss. I How not? Thinking, because I was thinking, well, maybe she had too much to drink or something like that. We all did. Yeah. But I remember that kiss, Drew. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> How are you? Oh. Hi, Marla. You guys on the bus. I know a Strapiana when I see one. While I ride it. You better live While it up. I, I didn't know. I thought that's what I was being summoned for. No, we I... were having a conversation about the videos. You were confronted about sending shady videos to LaToya. I knew I it did was not. Coming. I was completely I knew they had rallied up, baby. They rallied up. It honestly was a shock to me when LaToya sent, told me she had a, a video sent to her. I was like, wait, what? Latoya wasn't even filming with us. She wasn't even on the show at this time. Like, it was like, you're trying to be extra messy and start Get the strap. And maybe it wasn't. Maybe I, maybe it was so much going on in that room. I went to her room and I barfed in her bathroom and yeah, she you held- did. Yeah, because you, because you kissed Latoya. Get the strap. And I didn't think that that was going to turn into an all out argument mm -hmm. between you and I, mm -hmm. but it did. I felt like Candy was so vested in proving that Drew, she called mm -hmm. Shamia, she started called calling God. Cynthia, God. She, she called, called Cynthia, Cynthia, she, she called, called everybody. everybody. We started, Really extremely toxic. You know, our relationship yeah. was bipolar, you know? Or bi. Get the strap. Either way, it works. <laughs> it, it, it definitely upset me that she called me a liar multiple times. So why in 2021 did you say if I misread the situation, I was wrong? I was being joking when I said, now nah, I could have sworn I seen y'all, but okay, sworn. I'm gonna let you have it. That was me trying to be a, a friend to y'all because Why? you were married and I didn't know if it the, because matter. you was going. Not the two Strapianas battling. Um, I don't think they realize that Drew's not comfortable in her Strapiana sexuality yet. Y'all need to relax, okay? <laughs> y'all trying to pull and push her out of the damn closet, okay? I know y'all say it's not about outing anybody and it's about telling the truth, but you know, she does have a family that's really Christian and I feel like maybe they are not accepting of, you know, she has grown, so she got a, I don't know, girl. Y'all just, <laughs> y'all really want her to live it up, and I do too, but damn. Candy, is there a chance you saw it wrong? No, I definitely saw her. Okay. I didn't imagine it. The movie was not why, why, existing why, then. Why, 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 so how are you telling this? them why, why, that I'm making that you, story up to promote like, a movie that like didn't like even exist when that? It seems like LaToya is the only one that keeps changing. Uh, why didn't y'all just invite LaToya to this reunion if y'all gonna keep talking about this damn kiss from years ago? Girl, I would like to, uh, I did say I would like to know what went on, but also at this point, like, I... Enough of the Strapiana thing. She <laughs> she ain't gonna admit to it, okay? Latoya admitted to it, but now Drew don't wanna admit to it. I it's girl, whatever. Saw them this close in each other's face. Oh, so we were talking. No. But you never saw them kiss. Y'all had Thank your you. arms around no. each other Nobody. and y'all were like this girl. All this time we all been sitting here saying that you was, you know, being gaslighted by Ralph, but the way you just sat here and lied on this damn chair, I sw I, I for lie? sure feel like you be gaslighting him. Okay, now Queen Strap, and Queen Strap is Candy. Like, okay. I feel like if Marlo said what Candy just said, that Drew would just be going the fuck off. But since Candy said it, I mean, I guess she did go off on Candy, but I feel like not as much as she would on Marlo. Maybe because she doesn't like Marlo. But anyways, um... Is Drew a liar? Yeah. Do I care about this kiss? No. 
yeah so we move on and what else do we see in this bitch we see kenya get asked about her um man roy or whatever in this bitch um uh, i'm not trying to knock her relationship with him but it's not giving real but live it up kenya where is roy we've seen more of his restaurant than we've seen of him this year did he not want to be on the show well i think after he heard that someone marlo um said that I'm a leader. They went we out on a date people. and then saying that he popped her cherry. It was a really big turn off for him Got in it. the commercial. Uh, here we go. Blaming Marlo again. <laughs> um, I do know Marlo is out of order nine out of 10 times, but I'm thinking to myself, girl, come on now. <sighs> Roy didn't come around because this wasn't a real relationship, girl. You're talking about he saw commercials. We're talking about during filming. What are you girl the lies are catching up now hold on well if it was in a commercial then the show had already wrapped it was in the super tees but but when the super tees comes out we're we're already wrapped we was he wrapped. had heard about what we talked about too and then when the super tees came out it was a really big turnout because it's like you're a business kenya said i'm about to give you a pageant answer so you can't ask me any more about this questionable relationship in this bitch and to sit there and have someone kind of Make fun of that no, and I make understand. the I'm situation just saying a joke. It was a big turn. During the season. Ooh, Andy, catch it, catch it, catch it. Cause where was he during filming? Don't blame Marlo. <laughs> Don't blame Marlo, girl. But also, Andy, not too much. Like I said earlier, I got my four eyes on you. <laughs> Marlo, uh, Martin from Fort Lauderdale wants to know if you're sorry about your treatment of Drew this season. You really need to learn to control your emotions and not bash women for their bodies. Not everyone can pay to fix theirs like you. Mm, that's a read. <laughs> yes, who is that? Where is that? Uh, Martin from Fort Lauderdale. Now, Kenya girl. I know you ain't living it up talking about fake bodies in this bitch. I know she's not talking about it, but <laughs> it's just a nerve that she's living it up trying to gag Marlo when she's over there sitting on. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm just saying. How do I know if your butt's real or not? How am I supposed to know? I mean, one that's fast and strong. Uh oh. Can you look like you lopsided? That booty lopsided. Ooh. What do we have here? You better live it up. 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 Ooh. You better live it up. You better live it up. Now, I'm not body shaming either. I'm just saying to myself, Kenya, don't laugh too much. <laughs> I know Marlo said she got lipo and what she got a face transplant or a head transplant or something like that edges implanted or something girl i need that too so hit me up with your doctor but yes um yeah don't laugh it up too much miss kenya moore over there trying to gag people um yeah let's get back into this reunion well first of all every person on this couch should have something done to their body or face okay so i don't know why they're saying read marlo i've only had lipo okay and just lipo i've had it three times yes marlo clear be honest about your surgeries while other people are sitting on tons of bricks and not being honest okay <laughs> too much i do love kenya down but i just wish she would just clear the girls one time and just be honest about her booty even though she keeps saying this stallion or was she stallion or donkey I think she was stallion. Either or, she was stallion before Meg the stallion, right? I don't know. But anyways, she just needs to be honest about the booty. She don't need to be, but it would be nice. I don't know. She wants everybody else to be honest. So you could be honest, but whatever, girl. It's your body. It's your cement. Live it up. Courtney, it sounded like you and Ralph talked a lot about Drew's alleged affair before it hit the blogs. What did he tell you? Okay, hold on, because I forgot to set the scene that Cousin Courtney is out kissing Cousin Courtney incest kissing cousin courtney allegedly because i don't need them doing nothing over here okay stay away from my page say that real fast it's a tongue twister in this bitch but anyways kissing cousin courtney is out in this bitch and what do i feel about the relationship with ralph drew and um courtney well i never really thought they were real cousins to begin with and her relationship with ralph is kind of odd um she should kind of back out of the relationship, but I'm here for the messiness, to be honest. Give her a peach, preferably. Whose peach can she snatch? Hmm. I mean, I just know that he was really hurt by it. He was hurt by, you know, the lying, how she was projecting on 
him what, exactly what she was doing. Narrative of like, you hear they're getting a divorce, you think, well, we had Tampa. Yeah. You know, we have like the, the chocolate, right? The assistant, the chocolate magic mic, and who knows? Which Vegas. the chocolate magic mic, which that has already aired, right? Yeah. So I that can just say aired. this. So Ralph was in Vegas for a tech conference, which I knew that because we were friends, you know, we were building yeah. this friendship. We were friends, cousin at this point. So when that happened, I was literally like, when I told him, I'm like, what were you? He's like, I was there for work. Drew knew that. He's like, oh, Drew and I were just joking about that. That wasn't real. I'm like, are you kidding me? So when you see it, it looks like it was real, but it was a joke between him and Drew that Drew then brings back to the friend group like he really was doing this. Which to me is just not okay. Oh, so he was never even doing no, the No, oh, it was wow. a joke. It was, someone said it to him as a joke, and him and you uh, were laughing about it. And she's like, "Where do you, you know, are you doing your little magic might thing in Vegas?" And they thought it, he thought it was funny. And then when he saw it, he was so heartbroken. Yeah, I mean, you think that's he's in, first of all, we all know we picture Vegas. We've yeah. all been there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you picture that you're on this movie. Some woman invited you to audition for Chocolate Magic Mike. We all can, you imagine? can imagine what is probably happening there, yeah. at least that narrative. Yeah, right. So it was a narrative mm. that she ran with that wasn't even real. And that can't be innocent. Like, Drew must be, I mean, she can't just be saying so, this thinking, oh, wait, was that caught on camera? It's producers. I, yeah, I think that up until this point, Ralph might have given her more of a benefit like saying, well, I know, you know, I know Drew and, you know, she jokes about a lot of things or, but I think now it's super clear. I think so. Yeah. To not just Ralph, but the audience as well. So, right. So there was really no Tampa in terms he of went like, to he, Tampa, right, but, but he didn't yeah, disappear yeah, no, 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 no. in the stripper. And there was no chocolate magic mic where he that went to a, Vegas. Was, Interesting. I mean, from what he told me, I mean, I know he was at a tech conference. He did a live actually from the conference. So that's what wow. he was in Vegas for. So why doesn't he just, I mean, I know like technically he's not the housewife. It's like right. a dot, a tight, like, why don't you just say, all oh, this is fake. I don't know. If I were Ralph, I would say that. You would, right? I, I would. No, you think he might do that on the reunion this year? I think maybe, yeah. Maybe. If I was him, I would. I don't know. I mean, I would, I especially would, if yeah. you're getting this divorce. And yeah. I, I mean, even... I think that every housewife, so, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone has said that Drew is a compulsive liar this season so far. So I think, I think the audience is starting to pick up on that, maybe. And um, I think maybe he will. I don't know. So what do you think is worse? A compulsive liar, Drew, or someone who is treating production horribly and basically sucks the life out of a room? I think someone who treats people horribly and sucks the life out of a room. Because I'm not sure... If Drew even understands the damage that she does with her lion, I think it's to have a narrative and to double down on storylines fitting the narrative that she's put out there to continue the story on the platform. And I think yeah. that she thinks probably that Ralph's supposed to just be like, I'm taking one for the team. This is my wife. This is for our family. It's just TV Ralph. Is there any truth to what Ralph told Courtney? Courtney doesn't know anything about me and Ralph. She just met Ralph yesterday. And Ralph and her, he's been coaching her this whole season. Coaching? Mm. They've been, because a lot of things that you said oh, were things Ralph sense. said. I'm going to say this one time. Drew, don't you ever, what? ever in your or life uh, girl, Drew, speak on my what? son. Drew, and I'm going to say that and I'm going to leave that right what? there. <laughs> Please. Drew kills me when she starts yelling because I just can't take her serious. I know she's from Chicago, bitch. But it's just, it's almost cringe when she tries to go off like the way she does. But, um... Courtney should back out of the relationship. It is kind of weird that they just met and became cousins and they're not really cousins, just kissing cousins or whatever is going on. Allegedly in this bitch, cause I don't want to get sued in this motherfucking hoe. And that's a lawsuit. You are going to jail, period. Yes, okay, 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 the first part of the reunion is done in this bitch. Like I said, I'll give them a, well, I didn't say this, but I'm gonna give them a 10 out of 10. 
Like I said, this season has been lackluster, but this reunion, they are bringing it because they know these peaches are about to be corroded, smashed, and canceled in this bitch. So they are trying to shake the room up. Last minute, I see. Sheree, I ain't never seen you awoken like this, but I'll take it. Anyways, we're going to move on to Burning Man where they are bitches stranded in the desert with dreads. So we're okay. I think that the news is saying that it's pretty bad out here. It is. Um, there's mud. You can't really walk or drive. Um, we have Wi-Fi for a moment. So I'm posting this. This is how Peggy and I look right now. Yep, no shoes because it's like really back. hard to walk with shoes. My boots are like five inches and then the mud became five inches. So I was kind of on stilts. Um, but yeah, as part of this update, we are not allowed out of the playa. The gates are locked. Um, oh, we're okay. We, we're okay. We have enough tuna for a week. So we're okay. Um, but there's a chance that Sunday is worse than it was yesterday. Um, all of our structures have fallen down, by the way. Um, so yeah, we might not be able to leave till Tuesday or Wednesday. So off the map, totally safe. Um, yeah, thank goodness we have a mod van, so we're safe inside of that. Yeah. Sorry about the plug. I know it's, we're not supposed to talk about commercial things, but yeah, we're okay. All right, sending love to you all. Stay safe, everyone. Most of y'all have probably heard that Burning Man was declared a national emergency, but there's some pretty crazy stuff coming out. So it was announced earlier that Burning Man was declared a national emergency because it was flooded. And so they sent in FEMA, which already seemed kind of like a weird reason to send in FEMA and keep anyone from leaving the festival. 73,000 people they're keeping locked in there for flooding. Now there's some new terrifying information coming out that there's a virus on the loose in the festival and that people are getting really sick with boils, vomiting, hemorrhaging. To me, this makes way more sense than flooding in terms of what their response was to the situation. This is a text from one of the festival goers, and he said, Yo, just figured you should hear from me first. Daryl is crazy sick with something that has him coughing up really coagulated blood. Medic showed up wearing a full suit. No idea where he is now. I would stay inside your camper. And he goes on to say that an outside agency is putting up a fence. This is a different festival goer that said, You're never going to fucking believe it. They're saying it's Ebola. Um, I know it's 2023 in this bitch, but that first girl with the braids, <laughs> I don't want to see you do that anymore. I know that's a thing at Burning Man where y'all like to do that, but he's not looking good to me. But anyways, um, let's get into important matters of their safety. I hope y'all are keeping it safe out there. And to the second Beckyana, I don't know if her facts are straight about the Ebola, Eboliana out there, but oh my God, y'all need to... Ew, hold on, I'd be staying in my RV in this bitch. Y'all sleeping in tents in the mud and stuff. Oh my God. I know there's not much y'all can do because y'all can't leave, but what's going on? I can't be no stranded nowhere with no food. Y'all gonna drop food down? Where's FEMA? Well, not FEMA. Y'all need FEMA, but I don't... Well, maybe y'all do need FEMA. What's going on, basically? Y'all trapped in Burning Man and y'all can't leave for how many days now? Or it's going on three days or two days? Ooh, Lord have mercy. I know y'all need a bath that everybody's gonna get naked and run through the mud because they're already talking about it. According to burningman.org, pliafoot is a malady, which means disease, unique to black rock desert caused by the alkali dust that makes up the desert. It is essentially a chemical burn. The most common cause of pliafoot is exposure to your feet to the desert floor by not wearing socks, clothes, or shoes. While this malady is not serious, it is uncomfortable. The good news is that you may easily take care of it from yourself. Here is the care for playa foot. Wash your feet well to remove all the playa dust that is embedded in the cracks of your skin. The playa dust is so fine. It is like a powder. It is not sand that we know sand to be. It is much finer than that. So when they say it gets everywhere, it gets everywhere. You get coated in it. So when it's saying to wash it out of the cracks of your skin, it means you need to wash it out of your pores, okay? This may require soaking because you have to draw it out of your body. Many people recommend adding a small amount of vinegar to the water to neutralize its alkali. One fourth cup of vinegar to three fourths cup of water or a one to four, a one to three ratio is a good mix. That dust is so acidic that it can burn 
holes in your skin. And after washing your feet, dry them well and make sure you have uh, gotten all the dust off of them. If available, apply a thin layer of antibiotic ointment to your feet. Keep your feet covered with socks and closed-toed shoes or boots. Failure to do so will only allow your feet to get worse from the acclimation of more dust on your feet. Continue to wash every couple of hours for them to heal. So this dust is so fine and so hard to get rid of off of your body, off of your belongings, that you have to soak your feet in, alk in neutrally alkalized water several times a day, adding antibacterial ointment. Okay. Keep feet covered as much as possible. Wash, wash feet well each day and apply moisturizing lotion to the skin before climbing into bed and before putting on your socks and shoes for another day on the plaque. Seek immediate treatment if you see signs of infection, including redness, swelling, increased pain, red streaks running up and down your legs, developing a fever, or your feet become so sore that you can no longer walk on them. But like, yeah, go have fun. Go go play in the mud. Go do a naked mud run. Um, I'd hate to see what Playa penis looks like. Ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all need to come get them quick. Because <laughs> they playing in the mud and they about to turn into mutants. I want to know if y'all are testing them before they leave and they go home. Now priority should be their safety but i'm thinking to myself y'all talking about infections and so on in the mud oh, <laughs> i know they ain't got much to do out there as they are stranded and shelter in place and they're about to start turning on each other and it's about to be hunger games like i said in this bitch but what's going on <laughs> i know they don't know what's going on but y'all need to go help them because we already got or already had the coviesha we don't need mutianas in this hole Thank you, Andy. Ooh, just look at that monster Andy, okay? He got that X gene. I think he was at the um, festival. Um, <laughs> on a real note, though, I hope that everybody's okay there. I did see that somebody did die, so shout out to his family, or not shout out to his family, but condolences to his family, because that's crazy. You go and pay $7,000 and up and end up in a sore, swamp, mud-infested ass Ebola pit, allegedly. So let's move on and talk about another performer in this bitch or somebody who could have been performing at Burning Man, which is Erica Jane, which she is now performing in Vegas, living it up, trying to make an honest living to pay back the victims. I'm playing. She ain't paying back no goddamn victims. Ha! <laughs> she want to live it up too on her Ozempic and so on. But at least she's being honest about her Ozempic. But that doesn't make it like better that she's doing the Ozempic because doesn't that rot your stomach out? And besides rotting your stomach out, it's making y'all look sickly. Yes, Erica, you better live your Madonna fantasy in this bitch, your Kylie Minogue fantasy in Vegas, okay? Um, it would be nice if she did donate the money to victims, you know, of Tom and her whatever went on. I don't know whatever happened, but 
we know that's not going to happen like i said earlier in this bitch so continue to live it up miss ozempikiana allegedly well no not allegedly she said menopause or hormones or something of the sort that she's taking i don't know girl i don't know what y'all got going on but it's scaring me y'all are looking like zombies but you are eating up your performance girl your voice sounds on point the choreography is giving so yeah so let's move on and talk about blue face and um what's what rocky about what's the blue face and what's her name Krishan Rock. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, she just had her baby and get into this. Oh, oh, push baby. Push baby. Get him out there. He out. He out. He out. Thank you, Jesus. He out. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All that thanking Jesus. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Let me stop because babies are a blessing. I'm just, you know, the parents are scaring me. Okay. We got one. They be hitting on each other, first of all. And then the other one is just, I saw the child's room recently. I'm not trying to talk about one's child. And it's not about the child. It's just like the way that these rappers live with all these chains and you would think they have all this money and then you get home and they have no food in their pantry and then their baby's laying on the floor like oh my god like what's going on some people do not need to be parents i'm not trying to be shady i'm saying this as an adopted child um yeah i who some people do not need to have children and that you know Blueface and Rocky's, I keep calling this bitch Rocky Balboa. Blueface and Krishan Rock's like relationship scares me down. I know it's their relationship, but they're so public, so what the hell? Damn, dude. Bro. Let me go. Damn, bro. Damn. Welcome to Hollywood. I do. You're a bitch. You punched me in my mouth. What are you talking about? Punch me in my eye. You're a bitch. So what? If I want to get away from you, let me get away from you. Don't pull me away. Don't pull me closer so you can hit me in my mouth. You sound dumb. You should have let me jump down. The fuck is you talking about? The fuck this is a busted lip, busted nose. You lying. You weird ass bitch. So we're here with Baby D, the heavyweight champ of the world. Don't laugh now, it's funny. What's well, funny? I'm not laughing. Yes, she is. I'm not laughing. She done hit me in my shit. You got a nice little shiner. Because you're not saying nothing. That's the only way I can get you to talk. I can see she's fine. What's up, Kyle? What you need? Leave me the fuck alone. Fuck it, a hundred thousand. You viral now, cuz come on. Hey, y'all shut the fuck up. Y'all don't know this whore. I don't know her. Okay. I barely I barely know her. Can you stop doing that? Went through her damn phone. It's ugly. 
She fucking the CEO at the damn jailhouse. Why are you lying? And they come bail her out. Can you stop? She's sending the CEO to hotel. Mr. Hughes, too, yep. And he got a wife, and he, she probably gonna see this. Yo, Mr. Hughes. Yep, back at the jailhouse. In New Orleans. Like, what What type of bitch? Like, what? You fucking with the CO, cuz? You was in jail for 20, 48 hours. What I wanna know is, for real... How you got to bail the bitch out and she fucking the CEO? Like, cuz couldn't give you a get out of jail free card? Why, why are you saying like, you fucked me? Like, why do you have to say that? He didn't fuck you? No. So how you know what hotel you was staying at? He didn't know what hotel. He was waiting outside your hotel. He called you. You said you enjoyed his company. Not in, like, what, in person? Yeah. You said I was just observing you and blushing. Where the fuck was this happening at? Hey, why are you like doing this? Cause they think they think you just the, the real solid bitch. They don't know you really a whore, just a whore with with tattoos. Like what type of shit is that? She off that Hennessy, man. Take her outside. There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to talk like. All that's gonna do is add fuel to the fucking fire. No. No, I gotta, I gotta take you out. Oh, I gotta take you out. Blue, why you do like that? Keep coming here. Keep coming here, bro. What are you like? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Blue, what are you doing that for? Josh, don't worry. Whatever it is, I'll mean you would. It's good. Oh, child, I don't know. Maybe therapy before the baby? <laughs> I don't know. Some of y'all don't need to be hunching upon each other either. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's move on and talk about another topic. Another girl got moshed upon her head because she didn't want to give her number out to one of you Looney Tunes. What's wrong with y'all? Okay, hold on. I'm not trying to scare y'all. There's not no serial masher in this bitch because I know I just said another. I meant to clarify or I'm going to clarify. It's just one girl who got moshed upon her head with a brick. Um, I'm gonna let her tell the story, but yeah. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? <laughs> I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, what are you gonna do? And I told all these men, like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick. And all these niggas is watching. And nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face. And then they all just watch. And they let that nigga get in a car. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? Yeah, mashing and mushing bitches because they don't want to give you your number is sick. Okay, I hope they find him or if they didn't find him already. And when they do, throw him in the jail, the pokey. Okay, because that's too much. They got her head swole up because she didn't want to give you her number. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're going to end it here. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. We're going to end it with my um, sneak peek of my book. Or not a sneak peek of my book, but a preview of my book, which is available for you to listen to on here in audio form. And you can buy it in the link in my bio. And then we're going to give a preview of my song, Purr. A little self-promotion in this bitch because I need to make a coin myself, okay? I got two books in my bio, so get into that. ADHD moment. I know I just went back and forth from a song to books, but yeah. So get into that. And I know that um, next week will be part two of The Real Housewives. I may miss it. I'm having a huge life change coming up um, where I'm having to possibly be with family. So that's going to be traumatizing as some of you have known in this channel i've talked about being adopted and how okay let me not be ungrateful because i should be thankful i have somewhere to go but i'm thinking to myself like uh i gotta go home where bitches was beating me down in that house throw <laughs> oh i had to get stitches so i'm like oh traumatic so it's like hmm i should be blessed and thankful and stuff like that but 
I just gave you guys a little bit into my life, which I probably shouldn't just gave you guys this because it's like not therapy. But here we are. Maybe you guys can relate. Um, this is why I like Marlo so much because she talks about her adoption story and I can relate to it. But yeah, um, so I'm going to be going through a new phase, a traumatic experience. So send your positive, not traumatic experience, but going back to a traumatic place, I should say. That's triggering to me. Um, so send positive vibes to me send prayers whatever you believe in send it my way and yes we're going to end it here <laughs>
Um, so yes, we're going to end it here. We're going to end it on a positive note in this bitch. I know it got a little dark and eerie and sour, but let's turn up, turn up, turn up. Okay. This was a good ass video, a good ass recap, a good ass reunion. We had some hot topics. We had a good chat. We lived, we learned. Yes. Okay. So leave me a nice little comment and a thumbs up. Like I said, just a few minutes ago. Now we're going to end it again. Bye bitches. <laughs>